That would have been spectacular, right? That was that was just amazing. Thank you very much. Now we want to do this. You're certainly welcome to stay right there, though. Oh, I'm supposed to leave. No, you're not. You can stay right there. <laughs> no, no. See, a oh professional can handle it, so she doesn't call attention to the mistakes. Oh, no. no, no. You don't have to leave. No, it was not a mistake. We're going to do this now, and then uh, you don't have to leave at all. As a matter of fact, you know, once a year. Toy manufacturers and toy buyers from around the country meet here in New York City to display the latest lines of playthings for children. Some are educational, some are just loud and dangerous. Well, they were all there, and tonight we're going to take a visit to the New York City Toy Fair. Okay, Michelle, uh, what is this deal here, this thing? All right, this is our Ferris wheel that we've designed to exhibit for Toy Fair. And as you can see, all the gears are working in it. Around. The kids should probably not use uh, any sedatives while they're operating this kind of machine. No. The child can build this? Yes, the child right. can And build the, this propeller is uh, not dangerous? No, watch. Okay, let me try that. Doesn't hurt. Oh, jeez! No. <laughs> Four or five stitches, easily. This is our vacuum cleaner. Notice all those white pieces of paper and That's ashes? Great. You could clean up. a two-bedroom home with that thing in six, seven months. This is our paddle boat, and as you notice, there are paddles and a water hose that actually shoots water. I actually so. served on one of these in the Navy. It was a wonderful experience. <laughs> the Cabbage Patch dolls are still quite popular, and as you can see, this year's models are more realistic than ever. <laughs> this gentleman is Milton Levine, the uh, inventor of the ant farm, and uh, your sign says... Uncle Milton Levine. What, what should I call you? Probably they call me uncle because you sell ants, you're the uncle. You know the old gag. Oh, I see. Ants, uncle, sure. Right. Who harvests uh, these ants for you? Family? And... We have the same family for 27 years. Now the grandchildren are doing it. Uh -huh. That certainly sounds like fulfilling work. These are the world's smallest engineers. No human being could do that. Have you ever tried it with humans? No. Uh, I'm not very good with humans. I only know about ants. But is, uh, what they're really trying to do there is just get out of this thing, isn't that? No, 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 no. Briefly, if you can, uh, Milton, tell us about the fossil hunt. What do you get in this thing? This is uh, brand new at the show. Well, I shouldn't say that. We, we come out with a Dallas show a few months ago. I thought that it had uh, debuted in Dallas. Yeah, of now, there's fossils in there, huh? Authentic fossils, at least 20, maybe 25. Now, it, what, if there, what if there's 19? Give you double your money back. Okay. Show me. Can you show me a fossil in Milton? Sure. This is a game. You got to find the fossil. Then we give you a brush. Wow! Wait, you found one right there. <laughs> now, what kind of a game is that? He <laughs> well, well, <laughs> sticks his hand in a plastic yeah, bag and pulls out a fossil. Let me see if I can. Wow! What a challenging game this is. Let me try one more, Milton. There's no more fossils in here. There's only two in this one. <laughs> You're short 18 here, Milton. Here is this year's most talked about product at the Toy Fair. It's the anatomically incorrect doll. Sure to be a big hit, it comes with a handsome set of interchangeable torsos. Here, there's three, okay? <laughs> there's three, okay now. Uh, there's four. All right. There's four. five. Look what you're doing. Now, uh, is this how the game is played? Yeah. And I just fired off 13 shots, and kids just love it. Got a removable silencer, which is really for cosmetics. Just for looks, doesn't silence. Well, I thought maybe for the house where Daddy liked to sleep late, put the silencer on. <laughs> Good. Oh, yeah, so military looks like it's still strong. It was last year, will be this year. So that's good news for you, huh? Good news for all of us. There's a flaw. Okay, so uh, out of the guaranteed 20 so far, we have six. There's a fossil expert. Will you please find me a fossil? Yeah, she's an expert. Sure, come on in. It makes no difference. She's from the protozoan period. This is only a test tape. Yeah. Oh, is it? So what the hell am I breaking? My <laughs> okay, we have here a new rabbit headpiece, mm -hmm. which is going to be part of a costume line of gorillas and animals. It's kind of funny when you put it on. Yeah. You know, nice. It's how it's I make good, a living. Good with a blazer. <laughs> it's a living. Okay, and then uh, uh, what about these items here? Okay, we have, here's a bloody digit. We have the bruised thumb. Yeah, you can just have some fun with it. Okay. These are monster hands. Uh, been in the business for 
35 years in the line. Now, uh, if uh, which would be the better buy? To, to buy, say, uh, eight of these and two of these, or just one set of the hands? Well, I would say one of these because you get eight fingers. You get the whole deal there. Okay. And uh, take a second, Mel, and explain to us uh, the, the uh, costumes back here. Up until this year, if you wanted to be a gorilla, you rented it. But now you can go into a good quality store and purchase one for about the same price as you would have rented one before. Right? You can wear it you know, three or four nights in a row. And, you're ahead of the game. Yeah, you own it. Thank you very much, Mel. Yeah, here's Fossil. We're going to find 20. David, we're going to find 20. Points. We're going to find 20 if, it, if, if we're going to die doing it. Yeah. They'd make nice cufflinks, wouldn't they? <laughs> okay. We'll be right back with Steve Miserac, folks. Come on back. <laughs> Paul, welcome back to the uh, show. Monday night on this television program, Lily Tomlin, Tomlin will be here, Clarence Clemens, and Edward Zuckerman. Um, this, this smells like a rerun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're goofing off. We have something very important to do Monday, and uh, just put up with it one night, and then we'll be back on with a new show Tuesday, and then later down the line we'll explain what the surprise is that we've been working on for you, and you'll be happy about it. But uh, seriously, you're free to watch anything you want Monday night, because it is a, it's a repeat. You know, ABC was just purchased, so you might want to take your business over there. Uh, but then, of course, Tuesday, come on back because we'll have a brand new show for you. All right. Uh, you know, with Christmas just around the corner, whether you're young... <laughs> whether you're young or simply young at heart, you're looking forward to those new toys. That's why we thought it was the perfect moment to visit the New York Toy Fair. This is Marty Efron. Marty, uh, you got yourself a, a line of uh, superheroes here. Tell us about them. We have Defender, who is the invincible commander of Earth's solar system forces. How old is he? He's about uh, 25. Then you have Canis Major, who is a savage beast from the Dark Star. Okay, he's an illegitimate son of Zordu. And this guy? He's Quasar, the twisted henchman of Arcturus. These belong to the evildoers. This is Rhino Demon and Dino Demon. Now, did you think up these names? Yes. Now, when you get an idea like that, do you run into the living room? Hey, honey, no, no, I no, got it. No, no, you, you, you sit it with your thesaurus at your desk and you think about a concept. Tell us a little bit about here. We have the, uh, the wind-up action train set. Uh, looks like a pretty nice toy, uh, ages three and up. Uh, let's take a look at it and, and tell us what, what you get there. Okay, what we have here is a, a promotional assortment of toys. A wind-up train set. The child simply makes a, a figure eight, uh, winds up the train, and uh, enjoys himself. When, uh, uh, what, what about the, the passenger cars? Where are those? Are those, are those on the back of the, uh, the no, set? No, there's, there's no passenger cars. This, this is a forty nine retail. I see. I, and and uh, uh, it just looked like there might be more, more passenger cars. This is just to show the, the uh, train situation. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know when I was a kid, uh, in fact, you got one up there, I used to pretend I was with the uh, shore patrol and we'd spend the weekends, you know, pretending we were rounding up drunken sailors and, you know, hauling them out of bars and stuff. It was a lot of fun. I think so. I used to play with them, too, when I was a kid. Uh, agent X-9. Yes, you know, I think you find most of your secret agents, the really good ones, do label their stuff like this. Yeah. yeah. All right, now, how does that work? Just press it. Just press it. Oh, my gosh, there you go. And I've lost a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's gone, Jose. Well, oh, forget it. Yeah, show us how those work. You can shoot to here, for example. Uh, damn! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Gloria, I guess, uh, once again, this is the, uh, the biggest hit of the, the Toy Fair, the, the Cabbage Patch uh, Kids. Uh, the, actually, this is our popcorn kids. has nothing to do with the Cabbage Patch Kids. At oh, all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what we have here, of course, these are the Popcorn Kids, right? No, I'm sorry, uh, the Tomato Kid, we call that. And up here, this is also a Tomato Kid up there? No, it's called Funny Kids. <laughs> okay, Bernie, now, uh, this is a toy, is that what this is? Well, it started out as a toy because I originally found it up on top of a mountain in Japan, and I asked them what it was. And when they handed it to me, I was kind of shocked because I, I dropped it, it was so hot. Let me see what this is. Oh, damn! <laughs> uh, okay, Zig, so what we have here is, uh, this is one of the tomato kids, right? No, it's a goo-goo kid. It's a goo-goo kid. Well, he's called Buzzy, and it's a 
cookie crafter. And you just cut a cookie out. You just follow the outside of the stencil. Uh, sh shouldn't you be wearing safety goggles? Tell me about this. Uh... That says Elvis lives. Mm -hmm. I think Elvis would appreciate yeah, it, I a tribute uh, that he could also eat. You want to try it? Let me just see. Now, you, what happens if a, if a kid would... Uh, this is pretty much a tie touch it, touch it. Let me try it. It's very okay. safe. Ah! Damn! Jeez! Okay, Mike, so what we what we have here, these are the uh, the Goo Goo Kids. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. These are the ri sorry. Rice Patty Babies. The Rice Patty Babies. <laughs> these are dolls that are immigrating from Hong Kong. Okay, Al, so what, uh, this is uh, new for, from Coleco. This is obviously, it's a puppet. What, what exactly can you tell us well, about that? David, what this is is a sectar. It comes from the planet Symbion, which is on the far reaches of another galaxy. And it's a fusion of man and insect. So the concept was we have a superhero who rides a fly. Okay, Dick, so what do we have here? These are the rice patty babies. No, those are the cauliflower babies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the father of the sea monkey, Harold Bronhut. Tell us about the, the very beginnings of the sea monkey success story. Well, the sea monkeys began way back in the 1950s uh, when uh, the phenomena of uh, brine shrimp eggs was first discovered and uh, the little tiny creatures were used as a fish food. Is the formula a secret? Oh, yes. It's a trade secret. You know, I hate to think what would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands. Okay, Al, so what we have here, this is the uh, one of the cauliflower kids, right? No, David. This is a Cabbage Patch kit. Okay, and what's this? You got this one uh, suspended from the ceiling, which uh, just kind of teaching him a lesson, or what, what exactly? <laughs> Apparently, it's been a problem, child. And there's a little something you, you can do with the, the sea monkeys when they're full grown. Just take the, the cap off like, like that. And we have, you know, a couple of dozen in there. Just, there you go, boys. This one's still swimming around in there. Nope, oh, goodbye. Well, there you have it. Another visit to the annual New York City Toy Fair. It was, uh, Really kind of an adventure, wasn't it? And uh, actually, it was more more like a fantasy. No, I think uh, more accurately, you could say it was an odyssey. Uh, no, perhaps more like a, a musical comedy. Whatever. Gosh, we had fun, and, and we learned something about our fellow man. And if you're like I am, you're, you're probably tired right now, huh? Yeah. But it's a good kind of tired, isn't it? Ah! Thank you. Damn. Good night. Ah, damn. <laughs> Drive safely. <laughs> we'll be right back to Rosanna Arquette after this. The sizzling premiere of the hot new series, The Regulator Guy, starring Chris Elliott with special guest star Martin Balsam, will not be seen tonight, but will return next week at its regularly scheduled time. Now, stay tuned for a very special visit to the New York City Toy Fair featuring David Letterman. Is that, that you playing the harmonica? Play a little harp, yeah. Sounds great. Sounds great. Coming up in this half hour, you're going to see and to hear some more of Bo Diddley. And uh, Will Schreiner will be with us, a very funny gentleman. Now, Monday, get ready to jot this down, because here's a show I think you're going to be interested in. Monday, we have Mary Lou Henner, psychic Morris Fonte, comedian Richard Lewis, and David Horowitz. This one has rerun written all over it, ladies and gentlemen. So sleep in. Don't waste your time on that one. That'll be Monday. Uh, you know, it's a billion-dollar industry. It employs thousands of Americans, and it has its annual convention right here in New York City. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about live male burlesque. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm talking about the toy business and our recent visit to the 1986 Toy Fair. Watch closely, won't you? This gentleman is Ronnie Sampson. He's from Great Britain. What town? Leicester. Leicester. Nice to have you here. And you've invented the, uh, the Bob Hope... Um... Golf. Bob Hope Golf. I think when he dies, he's actually specified in his will that he does want to be welded to the front of a golf cart. So this is a younger Bob Hope. This is like high school graduation, roughly, isn't it? Well, it's an eternal Bob Hope. Oh, I mean, the eternal Bob Hope, yeah. Eternal. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, you, did you ever think about if you get another golf cart with a Brooke Shields doll on it, you'd have here an NBC special. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. He's gone absolutely. Oh. <laughs> As you see, they're quite indestructible. This is Neil McCaffrey. What do you have there, Neil? 
we have a talking teddy bear and a talking Bobby dog. Now, will, will this bear talk to one of these other bears? If the other one is activated, yes. Okay, and you have to shake them, right? Yeah. So let's let's shake these. Okay. Is that the act? No, that's activated. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we're picking up depth charges. <laughs> we're, we're getting something here on the sonar. Did you see the movie Das Boot? We're now in the offices of Ernest Marx. Ernest, what are you doing here? We are generally referred to as the undertakers of the toy industry. The undertakers? Yes, we are in the close-out end of the industry. And Michael Jackson, yeah. the superstar of the 80s, is a doll, right? How would you describe this item here? At this point, a stiff. This is called the Bender family. The, the Bender family. <laughs> and, and why do they call but, them benders? Well, they're very easy. They're bendable and flexible. Oh, I thought, I thought maybe it was beca no, because the old man would leave the house for days at a time. Uh, this is a copy of Potato Head. And Potato Head is still selling well. What, what is the name of the item? This Giggle Gang. Giggle Gang, and instead of potatoes, it uses... Donuts. It uses donuts. Yeah. But this is what we call a stiff. I mean, a real stiff. Turn Do that off. I'm, I'm getting some vertigo. Can you turn that off? <laughs> we could go through dozens of items more. We have probably 500 items in our oh, mind. Let's, let's don't. What are you representing today? I'm representing Elvis Presley's hound dog. I understand that this dog actually sings. Yes, it does. It doesn't sing. It plays five melodies. Oh, it does play. Okay. Yes. Can we hear a little of that? I don't have the music to it now because we have just finished a prototype. And what songs will uh, they hear? They will have uh, Hound Dog, mm -hmm. Love Me Tender, Don't Be Cool, Are uh, You Lonesome Tonight, and Jailhouse Rock. G give us an idea of what that would sound like, can you? Love, love me, me Tender, Tender, Love, love me, me Sweet, True, uh, or true whatever uh, the words are. And uh, what, what else do we have in there? Are You Lonesome Tonight? Mm -hmm. Do you miss mm -hmm. me tonight? Mm -hmm. Are you sorry you yeah. drifted apart? You know, uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have you just singing that. Tell us about this one up there. Okay. I'd like to show you that it's a Rocky soft body doll. It is Rocky. That is Sylvester Stallone. That's the Vista Stallone in miniature. It looks like it Great. might be a Samoan Rocky. This is his exercise suit. The parts are all removable. His gloves, his shoes oh, come off. Oh, don't take his shoes off. No, I what is the doll here, Fred? Okay, the doll is a 16-inch super action figure. What, what means super action figure? It's the largest military doll ever made. This is the biggest doll on the market. The biggest doll. Let me see this. Oh. Thank you very much, huh? All right, so Arnold Schwarzenegger is the biggest doll on the market. I think Liberace's got Arnold on this one. Who would you want out in the battlefield? No contest. The uh, toy fair. We'll uh, pause here for some and We'll be right back with Will Schreiner. Thank you, Carlos. You sounded terrific, by the way. Thanks again for being here. Uh, now, this should be uh, pretty exciting. We have uh, toy flamethrowers, exploding hot potatoes, burning stuffed animals. What is it? Christmas at the Gaddafi house? <laughs> no, no, please. It's a collection of dangerous toys invented by our next guest. Please say hello to Eric Ostendorf, ladies and gentlemen, and the Philadelphia Symphony Orchestra. Hi, Eric. How are you? Hey, nice to see you. Let me... Uh, in a couple of seconds here, let's cover this. You're a toy designer. Yes, sir. I work with a great bunch of fellows uh -huh. in a, uh, a toy development firm. In a major toy company. A toy company, And yes. we cannot mention the name of it, obviously. That might be deleterious to our... Uh... There you go. So, <laughs> so you've been watching the show. Uh, indeed, I have, yes. Thank you very much. Now, uh, and this is in no way to suggest that this is what we would like to see in the way of toys, but it's more of a, an amusement and a joke. It's true. The... Uh... What a lot of people don't know is that every year the safety regulations on toys get tighter and tighter. Which is good, isn't it? Well, it's, uh, it, it makes us, as uh, adult toy designers, long, long for the types of toys that we wanted when we were little. Right. And in fact, since we can no longer do those, uh, we do enjoy our current jobs. <laughs> but but However, by, by and large, toys today are, are safer than they've ever been. They're much safer. Okay, great. Right. So now these are toys that you guys do in your spare time. Correct. All right, let's, Absolutely let's see in our spare some time. And. Uh, this uh, clever-looking device here was created by a gentleman named Kevin Gray. Mm -hmm. Kevin's coming out here now. Oh, hi, Kevin. How are you? <laughs> Couldn't get a ticket? <laughs> no. Please enjoy the show from there, won't you? <laughs> okay. 
And, and you just take turns hitting each other in the head with that? Is that how that works? No, I, actually, although this thing looks like a mine, actually, uh, we're going to arm it now and play okay. hot potato. Uh, am I in this or just yes, you and yes, Kevin? Yes, in, in fact, if you, would, if you mind just backing up over there. All right. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out, of, out of harm's way, as it were. All right. Okay, the important thing here is we want to keep the ball moving. And I throw it to Kevin? You can throw it right back to me. If All you right, there you go. Okay. I really like say this, 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 this is an, an intelligent ball, and it realizes that if you don't keep it moving, it doesn't like that very much. I see. So this is... <laughs> I lose. What, what kid's eyes wouldn't light right up there? <laughs> On Christmas morning, if they saw some dangerous bit of pyrotechnic equipment like that. Thanks, right. Kevin. Okay. Kevin is standing over there. All right, but, but again, these are essentially just jokes. Well, we're taking these pretty seriously. Oh, there's plans to market them yeah, then, well, eh? No, okay, well, here we go. What's next? Well, if anyone in the audience would care to market those, they can get in touch with you and we can work out some type ah, of arrangement there. What do we have here? Okay, what we have next is, as you know, the uh, stealth bomber was just revealed. That's right. You guys made the stealth bomber? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we're in good hands then, aren't we? <laughs> Ex exactly so. So G.I. Joe will be flying it? I I absolutely. That's, good. That's very true. What we have here is... Uh, this, this is actually a, uh, a military accessory, which is designed by a fellow who couldn't be here. He's back at the ranch by the name of okay. Gary Swisher. Thanks, right. Gary. And uh, he made this just for you to right. place on your head. I put that on my head? Okay. No normally, I don't like wearing silly hats, but tonight, you know, okay, tonight what do I have to exception. lose? That's right. Okay. Okay. So. Now, I, you're enjoying this, eh? <laughs> I don't know if you folks can tell this, but there is a, uh, we're about to launch a propeller up here and it has a nice little uh, surgically steel screw up there. What do I do with this? What you want to do is, first of all, you want to aim back here at your, uh, your friend. <laughs> I'm sorry, where? I, I, having trouble seeing what? Oh, I'm sorry, I was momentarily dazed. Okay. Now, uh, all right, now if you look, look, look up a little bit more, just about like, maybe you want to look up a little bit more. Uh -huh. Okay, then push, push that top button. The top button that says helmet? That's right. Keep pushing. Okay. Wow. Wow. Jeez, that's great. Wow. Cool, it's a dead guy. <laughs> And again, this would never see the light of day, right? Ch chances are this okay. is. Uh, we have one more way back here. Yes. All right. Let's, should we go down here and do this now? Okay. Huh? You look confused. We go right here. Okay. We're going straight down here. We have to here. go back here. We'll be right back, folks. Turn out the lights when you leave. <laughs> okay. What we have are, you'll step back here. We know kids in general, children like to play with radio-controlled or remote-controlled. Mm -hmm. I pick these up right here. Yes. These are this the controls? Is, this is your hand controller right here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow you to participate in mm -hmm. a demolition derby. Oh, great. How do, how do we turn it on? Can I go ahead and switch well, it Well, no, you, you can't do we it yet a, because we have a this, minute here. this demolition derby has to do... Oh, you light it up. Right. Now, if you just push that the red, red button right there. Okay. Wow. Boy, you okay. could, you All could right. tease the cat with this, couldn't you? <laughs> Now, what's well, who now, are these guys? Keith and Kevin are going to keep, keep your You're melting out here. the floor. Now, how okay. do I move? Can okay. I go anywhere? This, this is forward. Yeah. And that's turn. Okay, okay. keep going, Dave. Keep going. I don't know where. Oh. Wow. Oh. So, this would be like what? From six to ten? Yes. That'd be the yes. age group? Uh huh. I, mine's stalled here. I don't know what I'm doing. Get it to okay, move. Keep, Can you, keep pushing. It's melting. Whoops. You're up, you're up on your own table here. Oh, okay. Let me, let me free you up. All right, well, be careful for heaven's sakes. Okay, I keep going. Okay, now mine's just completely incinerated. Okay. Here, get this guy. Yeah, melt his shoes. Uh. Oh my God. All right, and, and oh, it's just burning. It's just burning plastic. Uh, and these will be on the market. I, I oh, uh, roughly sometime uh, next Christmas, right? Look for these around the Fourth of July. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. We'll uh, be right back, folks. Just joining us. There's mom. Put, put out the butt, will you? 
<laughs> Mom's over there. She's got a butt going. Um, every year, some employees of a major toy manufacturer hold a competition to design uh, toys that meet absolutely none of the current uh, safety standards in this country. Welcome back from the Dangerous Toys team, Eric Ostendorf. Eric, where are you, sir? Eric? Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Merry Christmas, David. Merry Christmas to you. Have, uh, have I explained this adequately? You were here a year ago with the same sort of deal, Correct. right? We had uh, some dangerous toys last mm -hmm. year. What do we have then? Well, let's see. We had an exploding hot potato. Right. We had some uh, flamethrowers on wheels. And uh, we had a flying death screw. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> Which are not yet available on the market yet. I know. Uh, anyway, uh, now, d during your regular office working hours, you design toys for American kids. Exactly. That are we completely safe, completely harmless. And this is just a way to let off a little steam. In order to actually affect very, very safe toys that, of course, necessary to explore, explore the That's right. realms of both Get extremes. into the forbidden so you know what not to exactly. do. Okay, now, and uh, this year, what do you have for us? This year, we have uh, a lot of different toys. The first uh, toy, uh, Keith Hipley is going to come out here and show us Hello, our preschool Keith. entry. Nice to see you. Merry hey, Christmas. Okay. Keith, again, Keith has a, uh, a preschool entry. This is on the cutting edge of new technology. <laughs> Dave? I can do this. Sure, this is so this is called my it. first saw blade shooter. <laughs> this is, again, the category here preschool. Exactly. I this see. is ages th what three, three to three six, to, three to five, three to five. <laughs> my first saw blade shooter. Exactly. All right. How do it work? So what we're going to do is we're going to allow you to play catch with your buddy over here. Uh -huh. Mom, okay, you better see. duck. Get behind something, mom. <laughs> we have uh, okay, Where on, do I yeah. shoot it? Okay, you can stand stand right right around here. Right around here. <laughs> Take off running, Mom. Count to ten and then run. <laughs> Be very careful. Don't point it at any real people. No, okay? of course not. I pointed at uh, Michael Landon here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, do I do I aim it or just shoot? Okay. Now I got to pull out the safety here. Uh -huh. There's a safety okay. pin right there. Right. Pull this out. It's armed and deadly. Okay. okay. All right. So. I won't touch the trigger until I'm told. Okay. Okay. All now right. you're ready to go. Just like this, I pull the trigger? Okay, just, like just about like that. Anton? Ideal for luncheon meats. <laughs> Ooh, and this, sir, is what? Okay, this is Caleb Chung. Hi, Hi Caleb. Here. Pleasure to meet you. Caleb. <laughs> Caleb is heading up our division, our adult toy division. Mm -hmm. Now, we had some things we couldn't actually show because of uh, NBC sensors and various mm -hmm. things like sure. that. But uh, this particular one is an office accessory for uh, executives with lazy employees. Uh, okay. So as, you, as you can tell, we have some people around here that are just reading They're magazines. Goofing off. In Look, the, the guy is right over there just goofing off. And here's another fellow just on a coffee here's a, here's break a guy over who's here. Asleep. And Dave, it's up to you to discipline them. So what, you, what can be done with these? Would folks? you please have a seat, have a seat in, in the, the chair, chair of honor? All right. If you, if you navigation controls here. Mm -hmm. Navigation yeah, controls. All right. Now, does well, is this shower, uh, a chair self-propelled? Yes, it, it is. Just go ahead and just uh, move that around. It's a joystick. Move around the room. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Okay, and then what? Okay, now. Hey, I can't stop. No kidding around it. It won't stop. Oh. Now, how do I get it to fire? Okay, Dave, if you wouldn't mind just, just coming right over here. You can see your, uh, your lazy employee right. over here. Lazy John, as the cup says. Uh -huh. Now, if you wouldn't mind, let's see. Two. Okay, if you would pull, pull the uh, blue knob straight up right there. Just pull it up right now? Straight up. Well, and what'll happen? Watch okay. and see. Okay. Now we have here we have a complete uh, pencil launcher right here. As you know, this is a, this is an office chair. We have pencil many, launcher. Here many we types go. Of How do we office, launch it? Accessories. Now what you want to do? Okay, we're going to rotate that out of the way. And if you would just push that button down for about whoops. Let's, all right, let's let's line yourself up a little bit better. Okay. Now push. Okay. We'll we'll go right over there. Now push. Okay. <laughs> Next thing here. All right, Anton. Push here we go. Down. Okay. Just just one. God, that's unbelievable. Okay, go ahead. Whoops. Come in. Yeah. I think we're out. I think you got the point nonetheless. Okay, one pencil. What, what else say? What why else will it do? Why don't we drive over here and we'll go see okay. uh, this gentleman over here. Re <laughs> reading the centerfold. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Now, now if you wouldn't mind, uh, just pull up the Same red knot right there. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. So what we have right here. Okay. So please just 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 drive up a little bit further. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. No. Stop. Okay. Back up a little bit. Now, if you want to just pull that little red switch back right there. This one, this right, one there. right there. Right. Man, oh man, oh man. Mm. Is that it for this? That's it. Okay. My goodness. The executive Office Share of Doom. Right. And uh, this, uh, will this ever be on the market? We're trying to get yeah, this past our senior so. management right, right now, but there's no plans for it. We have one minute left. What's next? Okay, we're going to come back here and we're going to participate in the battling blimps in the The battling segment. blimps. Okay. Okay, Dave. Now, if you'll step right over Hi, here. Hi, how are you? Nice to see, see you. you. This is Gary Swisher. He's our senior blimp pilot. Right. You're going to be battling him tonight. So if you would, just okay. step right over here. Here we go. How much time do we have? 45 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Now, there's your hand control. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do, if you push forward on those. Right. What are these blimps filled with? Watch it. Watch what? What is people screaming at me here? Okay. Watch what? Who? What? Oh, your hair's on fire. Okay. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, Dave. Boy, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> God. And now okay, what? Now, now you have your, your controls here. You can actually navigate around mm -hmm. and just try not to let Gary ram you. You want to okay. ram him because... Uh, Where these, should I be standing? I don't... These blimps are inflated with hydrogen instead of helium. <laughs> what? Well, they, man, oh man, there you go, okay, nice job, good luck, Merry Christmas, Merry thank you, Eric, nice to see you, thank you very much, dangerous toys, well, we'll be right back. I don't know, is it time to take the tree down? Yeah, yeah it is. This is boxing. Doesn't make any difference what you say, as long as they say no, I'm not gonna, we'll leave no. the tree up. <laughs> what, what am I, nuts? Uh, you know, last Friday, uh, just before we, uh, the weekend, we had uh, these guys from this toy company who, who have this competition, and they build these dangerous toys. You were here, right, yeah, Paul? Yeah, I was here, yeah. And uh, the last little dangerous toy thing that they had were these blimps filled with some kind of volatile, uh, highly explosive gas, which would be what? What do you think that would be? It's hydrogen. hydrogen Very yeah. good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> guy thinks it's like chemistry class here. Well. And, and uh, anyway, uh, our uh, Neil Schatz, our, uh, our special effects guy, uh, was lighting this to, uh, well, here, take a look at the videotape and watch closely. Talk about holiday you fun, ladies and gentlemen. There are the, right? the blimps. There's what are Neil in the middle. Filled with? Yo! Watch what? That's, what is that was Neil with his hair video. on fire. <laughs> now, let's, let's take a look now in the slow motion, and you get a, an idea of what this poor man had to endure. He's lighting up the blimp, and uh, here, boom, it bangs in there. That's right. <laughs> Poor Neil, he, he's all right, fortunately, and it looks like that's the kind of accident that's happened to him a lot in his well. life. But for, for, <laughs> there's a, from me, there's the lovely a, holiday candle that yeah. we can get him to do that for us every he year. Doesn't, Boy, that he doesn't have awful. a lot of hair to lose. Let's I know, face it. and it's standing there burning, and the yeah. show is going on. You know, uh, we recently visited the big toy fair here in uh, New York City to find out some of the things that you boys and girls will be playing with next year. Uh, please say hello to the communications director of the toy fair. Come on over here. This is uh, Jody Levin. Hi, Jody. Good to see you. How are you? Welcome to the show. 
Every every year, millions and millions of dollars are spent on researching and developing and marketing toys, right? Absolutely. Yeah, how, how much money do people spend on toys? Thirteen and a half billion dollars that, every year. That's excluding video. That's thirteen and a half billion. Mm -hmm. Wow, and, and that's what the consumers pay for the toys? Yes, that's okay. retail. And these are all new this year. These are almost all new. I brought the stuff that your staff thought was the funkiest at Toy Fair, and we had. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They thought it was the what, Jody? The funkiest stuff the at Toy Fair. The funkiest of the Toy Fair. <laughs> There's a thousand products there, Dave. <laughs> did, in dealing with the staff, did one of the staff members actually use that word? Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. All right, let's take a look at it, Jody. We're going to start down here. Yeah, let's end. start down here. Okay. <laughs> Close the doors. Do you mind? We're kind of doing a show in here. That's all right. Thanks, Al. God. <laughs> okay, here we go. I brought you brand new from Tyco. This is Baby Bubbles. Uh -huh. She comes with her own bottle. Right. And if you'll squeeze her arm right here. Right, let me feed the baby. I'd like to have a baby of my own. Yeah. I'd like to have a big fat baby. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. Now what? Are you going to squeeze her? It's a very thirsty that's... baby. Okay, that's good. That's good. She's been doing push-ups all morning. She's <laughs> very thirsty. All right, now what? Here, squeeze her arm. Squeeze the baby's arm. Harder, harder. Harder? Well, you can't squeeze the baby's arm too much harder. <laughs> or the county will take baby away from you. All right. Let her bubble for the audience. I there can't. she I, goes. You know, I just feel bad about squeezing it. Oh. Yeah. That's it? That's all it does? That's it. Man, I mean, is that funky. All right. <laughs> is Oopsie Daisy, mm -hmm. also from Tyco. She's about $45. All right. Oh, that's cute. The baby crawls. Huh? <laughs> and falls down. All right, she'll pick herself up. Yeah. All right, she'll get back up? She... Right. All right. And she keeps going. There she keeps going. And... There you go. So that would be good for little boys or little girls of what age? Three and up. Three and up, okay. What's next? Now, for little boys... I don't know. I sh I'm sorry. I should have been here for rehearsal. <laughs> for little boys, this is the Twin Cyclones from Darda. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you how you rev them right. up. No batteries, rubber bands. Is this an expensive toy? This is about $85. Yahoo! Pretty neat. All right, now, how do you do this? We, we do, it, well, do it like that. Right. Okay, now, now I, how do you get them started? Just push down on the back two wheels, wait till they... Okay. And just let them go? Just let it go. Okay. <laughs> Make a lovely centerpiece, wouldn't it? Now, this, Dave, is a personal favorite. This is Milton Bradley's Mall Madness. It's for preteen girls, pre but girls, I can relate to the idea. Preteen girls, Mall Madness, and it's a, a board game. Kind of, yes. Right. It's a three-dimensional board game, and the idea is to get all six of the items you have to buy a sale price, hopefully, like a day shopping before at a mall. your friends. Right. right. So it's a shopping race at the mall. Right. It comes with credit cards mm -hmm. and a banking card. All right. There is a clearance at the toy store. There is a sale at the jewelry store. Right. And at the drug store. And at the drug store. Okay. All right, now. Red, move seven. Right. There's, a, there's a hold up at the liquor store. <laughs> just, just move on. That's just, I don't know what that is. Hey, I'll get the shears in here and cut this one too, will you? This might look like an ordinary beach ball, Dave. It does. It does but to me. It is a Nerf looks like an ordinary OB, beach ball. And it's mostly filled with air, but there is a compartment with water. What, does somebody hear that annoying you. hum? Could we, could we stop that? Yeah, all right, maybe we can. All right, all right see throw me. Catch. Here we go. Whoa! Sorry, Dave. <laughs> I was distracted by that annoying hum. You know, get one of those babies to do this, and then you got you something. Spin it. <laughs> Whoa! All right, now okay. what? This is a water womper. A water womper. About a half gallon of water. Mm -hmm. You fill it up with a hose, and here, I'll let you do. Now, how does this work exactly? Oh. Oh. oh, my God, I'm sorry. 
Again, they gotta have a safety on this of some kind because a guy could get all wet. I'm not even sure how this operates exactly. I gotta tell you, the batteries are extra with this. Seriously, don't you think a safety is what we need because somebody just hanging around could, ooh, watch it. All right, let's see you dance, Jody. Come on, dance. Be very careful, don't slide in. Thank you. We're supposed to go to this. What, are we gonna do this? I'm gonna introduce do you to Steve. You know All right, this is the giant truck, the big truck. Okay, this is, wait, I need that. Okay, I'm This sorry. is the Quad Buster. It is a monster truck from Tamiya. You want it this way? Careful, the floor is wet. Okay. Is this why the doors so were anyway. open earlier? Yes. All right, then open the doors again, Al. I'm sorry. Yeah, now. That's right, Al. Getting the precise moment okay. that the doors... Okay, I'll let you do it. This is forward, <laughs> backward, right, left. All right. I, maybe you should do it, because I'll never get it right. Here you go. The big truck. Here we go. <laughs> the big truck. Big truck. What, is it what? turned on? It's supposed to be. Yes, Remote's it should be turned on. on. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it working? What is it, Morty? Move to the last thing? All right, we'll come back to the truck. All right, all right. But it's probably not the turn. It, don't worry, sir. It'll be fine. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I have all your albums. Nice oh, to see you. Thank you. you. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Here, look. See? Yeah. Come here. Here we go. We're gonna. This is the big thing. Magnum here you go. Dave. Okay. Twelve right? devastator. And I just crank this. Yes. Okay. Here, here we go. Uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> that goes on for days. Well, that's a beautiful piece of whatever that is. Yeah. All right. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. Can you load it up again, or yes, is that sir. it? Okay. Do whatever you can okay. do. Thanks, Jody. Nice to see you. Okay. Uh, Jody Levin. Miller will be here tonight, and uh, tomorrow on the program, John Hyatt, very good. John Hyatt, he's very, very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, been on the show before, from yeah. Indiana, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah John Hyatt. Songwriter. Huh? What? Songwriter yes, and performer. Yes, that's right, John, John Hyatt. From Hyatt. Yes. Will be with us tomorrow. That's right. Uh -huh. uh, also, humorist uh, Spalding, uh, Spalding Gray will be here. Spalding Gray. Yeah, Spalding Gray will be here. Very and funny. Yes, he is quite popular. <laughs> Some people Just recognize One and a half people well, a up there. A few people have heard of him, yeah. A couple of people. Uh, and, uh, Be oh, look, Bev Tanner, the baking lady, will be back to bake things for us. She's going to bake a few things? Yeah, Wonderful. That'll be tomorrow in the big program. <laughs> Spalding Gray's popularity is contagious. <laughs> Hey, you know, when I get home tonight, guess what I'll have waiting for me when I get home? What? Something brand new. What? Just take a guess at my house. Something brand new. Uh, guess. Uh, guess. Uh, a guest? Yeah. No, Will not a guest? a guest. No, we hope not a guest. Okay. No. I, I've got no idea. What are you yeah, going to have right. there? A brand new garage door. Really? Yeah. I'm very excited about it. Automated? Thank you. Thank you. Automated thing? Huh? What? Is it automated? It's an electrical. You uh -huh. have a button. It goes up and down. Yeah. Voice activated? I don't know, Paul. Okay. Why, do they have voice-activated garage doors? I they think they must. Well, I'll look into it. A guy drives up and says, hey, open up! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, even, even without the device, doing that would probably get it open. <laughs> you know? In some cases, uh, yeah, I'm sure. A guy would, all right, I'll be down in a minute to open yeah. the door. All right, you know, <laughs> since uh, we're right here in the middle of the holidays, we thought we would uh, show you some uh, gift items that are out there on the market now. These are actual Christmas gifts that you might be buying for family and loved ones even as we chat today. Paul, music. <laughs> that wacky music That's you do is wacky. great. That yeah. knows that there's going to be an edge to this. Piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, here's something. Look, look, kids. Look at this. It's called guck. Is it a solid or a liquid? I, I wish I had a nickel for every time I've said that on the subway. <laughs> See, that's, 
Now you, now you kind of get the idea how, how that works. There is an edge to this. All right. Yeah, there's a little edge to it. Hey, oh, open the door. Yeah. All right. uh, this is the battery-operated police hailer. The battery-operated police hailer. This is just what parents want. Something to make the kids louder. <laughs> Listen to that breathless anticipation mm -hmm. in the air. Uh, Fisher Price Chicken McNuggets. <laughs> this, this actually contains more nutritional value than the real thing. Was that four? Huh? Number four. What do I get here? What? I get five. I get... Huh? Okay, here we go. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the detective, the, uh, with the detective ID, the detective button, and a briefcase that says, detective. <laughs> Damn, how do these people find out I'm a detective? <laughs> I'm ruined! I'm out of business! Open the garage door! <laughs> Number five, dinosaur-scented erasers. You know, they do. They smell, they smell a little like dinosaurs. Just like dinosaurs, yeah. yeah. Sort of like chicken. <laughs> he shoots his car! Yeah, uh, what? What? All right. Did we think about numbering these? I did! What? Take off that elf suit. <laughs> You're no damn elf. Get out of that elf suit. You get that elf suit off right now. You take that off now. You're no elf. <laughs> well, hello. It's been some trouble in the workshop. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's the yo-yo. Uh, it's the new kids on the block yo-yo. That's right. This is, this is actually more entertaining than the group itself. And now, and now this one? Yes! All right. Huh. <laughs> I need a sedative. Which one is it? I just did number seven. That was the yo-yo. Yo Get out of that damn elf suit. You're no elf. You... Which... <laughs> Which one is it? I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> Yes, I'm right, but who's wearing the elf suit? <laughs> so I can do this one now? Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Isn't she cute? Could she be cuter? No. Could she be? No, she couldn't be any cuter. Uh, this is something called Sproing, the action game of unbearable fun. You know, Paul, I like to think that every night here on the show, we have unbearable, unbearable fun. fun. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We thought maybe the sound effects would save it, but it didn't. Okay. All right. uh, this is the Milbin 12 scientifically prepared slides of assorted bacteria. <laughs> oh, look. Look, Paul, there's a, there's a little pennant there in the corner. That, that reminds me, didn't you go to assorted bacteria high? <laughs> Yes, as a matter of fact, yeah, I do, did what, what was their song? Do you have the remember high their school song? song? Yeah, the high school song yeah. from Assorted Bacteria High. Uh, assorted Bacteria High School, our alma mater, dear. We crown the fairest high school. It's the name we love to hear. Rah, 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 Assorted Bacteria. And it went on from... Are we about done? How much time do we have left? We are, thank God. It's the longest hour on television. <laughs> and finally, the Fisher Price Pocket Explorer. <laughs> honey, honey, I'm a little worried about Jerome. He, he's been in his room for over an hour with that Pocket Explorer. Go. Gaines, come out and take a bow. Where, where is she? Barbara Gaines, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out. And... <laughs>
racing around like a lunatic. Here, take a bow, honey, take a bow, sure. All right, we'll be right back with Larry Miller. He's a left-handed drummer, Phil Collins. Yes, he is. Anton, are you a left-handed drummer or right-handed drummer? What does that mean? Everything shifts to one side or the other? Yeah. Are, are left-handed drummers, do they have an advantage over right-handed drummers? If they sit right-handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Monday on the program, James Buster Douglas will be here. Will Schreiner and Rutger Hauer. There's a show you don't want. What was that? Excuse me? I'm sorry. Excuse me? No, I'm sorry. She forgot to turn the car. There's a show you don't want to miss. Oh, to miss. <laughs> I don't want to miss. Don't want to miss that one. Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, every year uh, New York City plays host to uh, hundreds of uh, conventions, perhaps none more thrilling than the annual American International Toy Fair. Sad, isn't it? I don't understand any of this. Here now are some highlights of our visit to that recent trade fair. What do you have here for us today? Oh, just one of a kind. One, one of a kind what? Dolls. And uh, how do you decide what's going to be a subject of the doll? Oh, just beautiful faces. I see you made an exception in the case of Cher. Oh, no, I didn't. She's beautiful. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Joyce. This doll compared to share herself, which would actually have more plastic? Oh. <laughs> All right, tell me about this little item down here. It's the Domino's Pizza Delivery Game. Yes. And, and if the kids aren't bored silly in 30 minutes, the game is free? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be something. And, and also, I guess it teaches the kids uh, all of the fun and excitement of working for minimum wage. <laughs> I guess it, would, yeah. it sounds like a solid game concept to me. Nice meeting you. Alan, tell us about your model planes here. Well, we make about uh, a million models a year. We mainly sell them to airlines and retail outlets uh, worldwide. And this is the Northwest Airlines 747 in-flight after the boys on the flight deck have had a couple of drinks. Uh, and what do you have here? This is interesting, this thing. This is like a, a Christmas tree stand, huh? It is a Christmas tree stand. And how much does that cost? Uh, retail, this large model will be $49.95. $49.95, $50 for the Christmas tree stand. And I guess what you've simulated here is a family spending $50 on a Christmas tree stand and not really being able to afford a Christmas tree. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? My name is Cindy the Carrot. Cindy the Carrot, what, what does that mean exactly? Well, I've turned into a carrot. Oh, that, this is a carrot suit. Yeah, I hope you don't think I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> no, you know, for a second there, I thought it was a voting booth. My mistake. I'm sorry. It, it looks... I've seen people in here with me before. Well, I'll bet you have. That's what everyone is saying here at the convention. Look, ladies and gentlemen, GE executives. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who is that that we know recognize the vice president, and then who's the other guy? The other guy is Michael Agrelius, the man who came up with abstracts. And is this game endorsed by the administration? I'm not sure about that. Endorsed by the Republican Party? I'm not sure. Endorsed by really dumb guys? I think so. You know, I tell you why uh, we're over here. This this uh, Wake the Wizard kind of caught my attention because, and, and I don't even know if this uh, applies. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, but when I was uh, when I was in high school, I remember one afternoon my uh, this is sort of embarrassing. My mom caught me waking the wizard, and I just wanted if there would be any kind of a connection. Uh, not that I know of. Okay, Frank, what do you do for a living? I work for the United States Customs Service. And uh, why are you here at the gift show? Well, we're informing the trade of the different services Customs have. One of our major services that we offer here at the trade shows, we talk about recordation. What we're doing here is recordation is, is a process that someone that has registered trademarks or copyrights uh, may not necessarily keep them out of the country. If there are copies being made abroad. They can record with Customs. And when they record with Customs, they're getting a little extra protection on that uh, record aid. Many people have the impression that Customs are just there to collect duty and to check the contraband. But mainly what we're doing here is we're showing people that they can record, register trademark, giving them that extra insurance that if an item comes in, it can be detained at the border. It uh, more likely would be 
seized after 30 days if they could not prove that they had the right to bring it in, as a result of it appearing to be either confusingly similar or an actual copy. see a lot of red plaid suits anymore, do you? Ah, uh, it's just fun to wonder. Evening wear from L.L. Bean. Very nice. Um, the uh, 89th Annual American International Toy Fair is in town, and, uh, well, of course, the place is just crawling with toy salesmen. Here, to give us a preview of the latest in the world of fun and games is our old friend, uh, uh, Jody Levin. Jody, nice to, nice to see you. Thank you very much. How are you? Uh, you, you know all about this stuff, and uh, I'm just going to watch, and I'll be right here if you need me. Go ahead, take it away. Okay, Let's begin got, with... These are all new the toys, stuff. aren't they? These are all new this Expensive? year. Expensive? Uh, no, they range from about 20 to 80. Huh? 20 to 80 bucks, and all age groups. All age okay. groups, but we brought stuff that's especially good for adults. This first thing is the UFO Turbo. Right. A remote-controlled balloon, and that's Oops, what it is? Here, yeah. Do that. That's better than that's the old-fashioned balloons, yeah. <laughs> yeah. look at that. Completely yeah. different than them old helium balloons, Paul, that I had when I was a kid. This is the first radio-controlled... Oh, it actually flies wireless, around. ...wireless, uh, wow, very nice. filled airship. Sure. Would you like to play with that? Yeah, that's very good. Okay. That's here from Caliafito America. About $65 available in April. And yeah, this is nice. You have just almost the same control over this as you do a regular balloon. <laughs> Just, just, just a little more control, just really. Okay, and that's 80 bucks, you say? That's uh, 65. 65, okay. Good, okay, Jody. Next, we've got Roller Baby from Tyco. Hey, Roller Baby. She comes with her own inline. <laughs> There's Roller Baby right there uh, with roller blades. Oh, now how do they do that? You know, you know, I know actual people who can't do that, and, you're, <laughs> and here we have a toy that roller blades. How does that Pretty happen? Pretty good. Yeah. We've got a couple of dolls for Look you. Look out for the bike! <laughs> Cabbage Patch Kids, of course, they're in their ninth year. This, this is not a brand new. Oh, doll, look at that! That thing is. Uh, turn that loose on Sixth Avenue and see what happens. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah! Time to phone Roller Baby's attorney. <laughs> yes. What, what's next, Until Jody? Until this year, Dave, Cabbage Patch Kids had to wear diapers, but right. now we have a special potty seat. Oh, well, that's that's cute. Oh. Yeah, that's very sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. One more doll for you today. I'll, right. let, I'll let you work this one. This is Snoozy. And if you will gently squeeze her right toe. All right, Snoozy. Hello, Snoozy. Yo! She's out. <laughs> Look at that, Paul. Only it was that easy. I got to get her in a sleeper hold. <laughs> I've got a Something I learned from that. Jake the Snake. It's a... You ought to be out long enough. Come on, come on. Wait a minute. Spit her up. Okay. Baby is fine. Baby, baby is just fine. Here's, hi, see, baby is just fine. There you go. There's nothing. Baby is fine. Nothing wrong with baby. Stamp on this. What am I doing? Right here. We have to stand over this way. Mm -hmm. I right. stomp on it. Whoa. Yeah! Oh, I see. You got to hit it. All right. Well, can we load can some we more try? up there? Yeah. When? Where do they go? We're gonna... oh. All right. One more. Wait up, wait. You know, I'm upset over that decapitation. <laughs> what are we doing now? You're going to put that on the oh, floor. Okay. We're going to play hockey. All right. Oops. Wait, you're, you're on that side. I'm on the side? Okay. <laughs> This is, this is, this is a little like hockey, but there's, there's no ice involved. Oh, and he's 
surface, but it's best on a floor like this. Okay, wow. Another, another baseball game. How about that? What are we doing? The water gun, Jody. Uh, are we over to the water gun? Okay, this is a state-of-the-art water gun. State-of-the-art water gun. That's really powerful. I'm afraid to use this. It's... I've got deodorant that's more powerful. Okay, that's that's great, Judy. And thank God for this pack. Hot pop clean up later. Why do we do it? All right, we'll do a commercial. We'll be right back. Whoa. This is, this is great and everything, but what, why, what, how, you know, you could just play with a garden hose and do this. Oh! Uh, Jody, thank you very much. Nice thank to see you. you. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night, folks. Good night, everybody. some sad news uh, here in New York City today for uh, baseball fans, New York Yankee fans, and I guess uh, baseball fans all around the world. Uh, Phil Rizzuto, uh, former uh, Yankee shortstop and a beloved figure, sports hero, and personality here in the tri-state area, once again was denied entry into baseball's Hall of Fame. Yep, that's right. And the baseball community, I think, is especially upset. In fact, uh, Cincinnati Reds owner Marge Schott <laughs> Earlier today, I said, yeah, it's really a shame. We all, we all feel very, very sorry for the little WAP. And so... <laughs> it's a little like being at the Chavez fight the other night. Right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful program here tonight. Our old friend uh, from the Columbus Zoo, Jack Henna, will be joining us this evening. You betcha. Also, uh, from MTV, we have Pauly Shore on the program. Let me guess, a mix-up at Ticketron? <laughs> I don't know. And uh, on the program, a uh, wonderfully talented writer, director, and producer, Mr. Gary Marshall. Now, say hello to our friend Paul. Hey, for a over there, Paul. Then. Nice to see you then. Hello, how are you then? Nice to see you. <laughs> Chap with opera glasses out there. Wasn't that neat? It was like a night at the opera. That's Very right. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. How are you feeling? Tonight? I'm fine. I'm, I couldn't be better. Good. You know, uh, Saturday morning, uh, I get up and I watch uh, ESPN every Saturday morning. From like 6 o'clock until noon, it's outdoor programming. Yeah. And it's uh, a lot of fishing shows. And it's guys uh, fishing in ponds, it's guys uh, deep sea fishing, it's guys fishing in lakes, guys fishing in reservoirs, it's guys on boats, it's guys in canoes, it's guys in waders. And pretty much every one of these fishing shows is the same. Two guys saying this sort of thing to one another for a half an hour. Ooh, there's a nice fish. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, there's a beautiful fish. There's a good looking fish. Man, whoa, look at that fish. Wow, what a fish. Man, look at her. Oh, that's a honey. Wow. But I watch it because I enjoy it, and, and I was, uh, it's, it's a sad commentary on my life, isn't it? And uh, during one of these shows, uh, they were talking about bait, a couple of guys talking about bait. And, and I always like to listen for phrases that may have never been uttered before in the history of verbal communication. Yes. 
Let's take out our measuring sticks and measure our swan candle holders. I heard that on the, on the Home Shopping Network one yeah, night. Yeah, that would have been the first uh, time ever. Yeah. And then there was another one, uh, ladies and gentlemen, see how large Paco's bald spot is. That was yeah. <laughs> Never in, in the history of man communicating verbally have those sentences been uttered. So uh, they're talking about bait, and I hear another one of these phrases. The guy, one guy is talking about uh, the other guy's affection for the plastic worm as bait. I and he see. says, uh, no, how, how do you feel about the base? Oh, I, uh, you know, I use a, use a plastic worm. He says, you, you've used them for a long time. Yeah, I have. I've always had pretty good success with the, with the plastic worm. And he said, would you recommend the plastic worm to others? He says, oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the plastic worm. <laughs> right there, Never in the before. history of verbal communication, no one has ever said the sentence, I'm a big fan of the plastic worm. Never, ever happened. Thank you very much. Hey, you know, every year this time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, toy manufacturers, toy representatives, toy inventors from all over the world come to New York City and they have the biggest, most exciting, most popular, best attended toy show anywhere in the world. And it happened a couple of weeks ago. We took one of our uh, videotape crews down there and we thought tonight we'd show you some videotape and, and just test your knowledge about modern contemporary toys. Paul, do we have, is there, is there any introductory sure, music here sure. for the big How boys? gentle is the rain that falls the by the toys. Please try to come to rehearsal. Uh, well. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man you're looking at right here is enjoying the toy show because A, there are a lot of exciting new toys, B, he's still a kid at heart, C, he's got a slinky in his pants. Uh, this train stays on uh, the track because A, it's a Lionel, B, it's a Tyco, C, it's not an Amtrak. There you go. As you can see. Coming right up 6th Avenue. Uh, this is what Hasbro considers A, a lawn toy, B, a game of skill, C, safe sex. There you go. <laughs> this woman is uh, making the puppet say, A, hi there, B, have a nice day, C, nice skull. A little, that's what the nice little puppet. Yeah, the little puppet has said that. Yeah. <laughs> there may have been another uh, example. This woman is uh, telling her friend about. Uh, oh, oh, I'm a big fan of the plastic worm. <laughs> oh man, I got. I, I, I fished this lake dry with that plastic worm. I'm a. Oh yeah, I'm a. I'm a big fan of the plastic worm. That's a beautiful fish. That's a nice fish. Gosh, that's a. That's a good looking fish there. Oh boy, that's a honey of a fish. Oh, my. This woman is telling her friend about A, the way toy shows used to be, B, her favorite toy when she was little, C, the time she nailed Geppetto. <laughs> another, another friend of Marge Schatz. <laughs> Ah, uh, this toy illustrates the toy-making principle that A, plush is in this year, B, ecological toys are selling, C, C, kids love polyps. <laughs> but you had no problem with WAP. Ah, <laughs> uh, this product teaches children the joy of A. No! No, giants! Giants, run for your lives, everybody! Giants! No, no, Paul. I'm, they're just—they're just small cars. They're not—they're not giants at all. They're just <clears throat> there. See, they're just small cars. Small cars! Small cars! No! Small cars! Get a hold of yourself. The toy fair. Check it out, Bravo! Bravo, man! Anton, were you frightened by the small cars? <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This uh, product teaches children the joy of A, fine German engineering, B, kit building, C, carjacking. That's uh, uh, This man's life is based on one simple rule. A, the customer is always right. B, people will pay for quality. C, chicks dig guys who sell toboggans. Boy. I've, I've known that. 
Why didn't one of you guys, why didn't one of you guys start screaming toboggans yeah. when you saw that? <laughs> the small cars bothered you. The toboggans don't have any toboggans effect. That's odd. Uh, this company's toys are A, imported from Japan, B, safe for children, C, apparently edible. <laughs> Uh, this remarkable one-of-a-kind toy was made by A, children in Korea, B, physicists in Russia, C, Mike Tyson in prison. I had no idea. <laughs> Look at what a wonderful job he's, he's done with that. A lot of time. Oh, man, I'm a big fan of the plastic worm. <laughs> uh, this man is happy that A, he gets to keep his costume, uh, B, he goes on break in 15 minutes, C, Clinton lifted the ban on gays at the toy show. <laughs> Uh, this exhibit proves that A, people still love the Wild West, B, rope tricks are fun, C, Siskel and Ebert do like to hang out together. <laughs> That's our little... <laughs> we, we have a wonderful program tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have some uh, wonderful, uh, lovely uh, zoo animals with the director of the Columbus Zoo, Jack Hanna, and uh, we'll bring them out here for you in a couple of minutes. Come on back right after you watch this.